howdy. Are you Monk? Please. Adrian. Excuse us, we were just, uh, we were just setting the clocks forward there. It's daylight savings time and all. Oh, hell, man, I always forget to do that. That's a beautiful watch. Oh, you like that, huh? It's that white gold, imported. I'll have to get you one next time I see. There's trademark. Really? Sorry. My name is Murderous. Murderous? I've heard of you. I've taken your records away from my daughter. <laughs> You'll have to excuse Natalie. <laughs> She's a little prudish about that stuff. I'm different these days. I'm more of a, a businessman. I have my own record label, Man Slaughter Records. This is Snake the Assassin, my VP. Mr. Assassin. Hello. And this is Silent Killer, Secretary of Defense. Secretary? Uh-oh. Natalie here thinks secretary is a dirty word. Have you seen that? My lawyer's already calling me. Police looking for me. They think I did it. Well, uh, why, why would they think that? Motive, yo. Motive, yo. The deceased, extra large, he used to record on my label. But the splits wasn't exactly cordial. I hate that mother... fellow. I hate that fellow. Is this all they have? Plus, about a month ago, I made a song talking about how I wanted to kill him and how I planned to do it. Tick, 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 come on! <sighs> Damn, the song's carbon. And that's the exact same way he died, you know what I'm saying? Now look, I'm no angel, and I never pretended to be. But this time, this wasn't me. No, of course it wasn't. We've been asking around, and the streets have been saying he's some kind of super cop. Well, I guess if other people say it, it's not really bragging. You feeling me there, Silent? He's feeling me. I want to hire you. I want you to do what you do, sniff around and get me the hell out of this. Oh, God, we're flattered. We really are, but we really, um, we're just talking about we have so many other commitments. Don't listen to her. I'll take the case. I'm your man. Well, all right. It's a honor. It's a privilege. And don't you worry, because I am going to get you out of this. My word is my bond. Now that's what I needed to hear. Pay the man. Here's a retainer and my business card. You call me as soon as you get some good news. Natalie, it was a pleasure meeting you, beautiful. Thank you for your business, Mr. Murderous. Mr. Assassin. Mr. Killer. Ah, sorry, Killer. Killer. Natalie, Killer. Don't worry about anything. I got your back, yo. Have a nice day, yo. Hey, yo. That was close. Are you okay? But, but he seemed to take it pretty well, didn't you think? To take what well? When I turned down the case, when I said I was too busy. Mr. Monk, you said yes. You took the case. He wrote your check. It's right there. Extra Large was your biggest star, your cash cow. But he left your label and started recording for Fresh pro fresh Produce? Fresh, fresh Rhymes. Fresh Rhymes Records. You couldn't stand that, could you, Russell? My name is Murderous. Well, you'll always be Russell to me. Little Russell Croy from Milburn Avenue, flushing dime bags down the toilet every time I came knocking. Does this one belong to you? It's one of your trademarks, isn't it? It's like those special edition ponies you're wearing. You make an excellent timing device. I ain't no bomb maker. Well, you don't have to be a bomb maker. Any Boy Scout could rig this. What you do is you take one wire, you connect it to the hour hand, the other wire goes to the face. Tick, 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 nine o'clock. Kaboom. Guess what? What? I ain't a Boy Scout either. No kidding. How about this, Russell? It's a blasting cap. See here, that's a serial number. That's how we know that this particular blasting cap was stolen from a construction site a half a block away from your house. I am not going to be putting a bomb up under somebody's town car. You know me. I'm up close and personal, face to face. Well, not according to this. Track four. 
a song called Car Bomb. I put the bomb in your limo. That's what the surprise is. Under your seat, like Oprah giving prizes. Sound familiar? Not the way you do it. Yeah, well, I wasn't really performing it. Look, you got to be one of the whitest white boys I've ever met. And I met Kevin Costner. Mm. Right on. Mm. Monk, what it do, baby? Murderous. Mm. Snake, hello. I'll be right with you as soon as I pass this level. Mm. Which one are you? I'm the one trying to kill that fool. Why? It's called gang bang. Them two were partners. Then the white dude got scared and tried to back out. I love this game. You gave me your word. You want to play? I feel like I just did. I heard about that limo driver. I suppose I'm going to get blamed for that one, too, huh? He was strangled with a chain, you know, white gold. Like this? It's quite obvious somebody trying to set me up. I'm just glad you're in my corner, Monk. About that, um... I'm, uh, I'm afraid I have some bad news. Maybe we could just turn this off now. OK, first off, uh, thank you for thinking of me. I will always cherish the time we, we've had together. And that goes for you, too, Killer. And you, Mr. Assassin, I think I'll miss you most of all. Are you going somewhere? I have to respectfully return your money. You backing out? I'm not dissing you. This, this, this is not a diss. Look, man, if you back out right now, I'm in deep dookie, Mookie. And that's church for shiz on my dizzle. You know what I'm saying? Um, and no, not, not, not so much. I wish I did. Here's the thing. When, when, when you came to my house and I said yes, that wasn't really me. <laughs> well, he sure as hell looked like you. He shook my hand and he gave me his word. Well, that should have told you something right there. I almost never shake hands. When I get nervous, I, I say things I don't mean, OK? So here's your check. It's a little wrinkled. I'll just, uh, no charge. We're two men, right? We can work this out. Check this out, man. You want to hit this piece pipe? No, thank you. Come on, man, it'll relax you. Yeah, I'm fine, I'm, I'm relaxed. Dog, you are not relaxed. You got to be the most uptight little puppy I ever met. I bet if I put a lump of coal in your butt and let it sit there for 10 minutes, I can get a diamond out of it. A diamond? Murders, listen to me. You got to believe me. That wouldn't work. Man, what are you talking about? I mean, there is no way you could get a diamond from a lump of coal up there. I mean, it's not physically possible. Chill out, man. It's just a figure of speech. I'll buy a diamond. Buy you, buy you all a diamond. Diamonds for everybody. Diamonds for everybody. You heard it, man. Diamonds for everybody. <laughs> Toast to my main man, Monk. I'm the new head of security. And how did that happen?